you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to go over some kickoff predictions, best way to make coins off this promo, and pretty much what you should be expecting, right? So, the consensus of the Madden community as a whole believes that there will be a kickoff promo coming within the next few days. Now, this is based off largely of the fact that last year, approximately at the same exact time, Madden 19 did release a kickoff promo that did feature Gronkowski, Antonio Brown, Luke Keekley, and Casey Hayward. I nailed it off the top of the head. I actually, had, I, I didn't remember who they were. So that is a cornerback, a middle linebacker, a tight end, and a wide receiver. Now, why is it called the kickoff promo? Because typically it starts right in line for the kickoff of the season. Now, kickoff today is approximately, I believe it is Thursday today. And by approximately the time, I think it's, I want to say 8.30 Eastern. Bears versus Packers tonight. Going to be huge. Going to be fun for the season's kickoff. So that is the consensus. Could the kickoff promo drop today? Probably not. Could it be tomorrow? Possibly. Could it be next week? Possibly. But it should be coming. There's no reason not to do it. It's an easy promo for Madden. Pretty much just pick four players, go over it. I have pretty solid predictions right now pretty four solid predictions now before we get into this video and go any further boys if you are new to the channel and you want to come back in a week and tell me my predictions are wrong and trash me make sure to hit the sub button so you guys can see when i post my next videos so you guys go talk crap to me if you guys are new hit the sub button boys we're close to 8k we're grinding out trying to be a man and content creator make sure to smash the sub button see how close we quickly we can get to 8k can we get to 8k in three or four days hopefully boys and if you haven't already turn on the noti bell Comment down below who you guys predict will get one. Because I think my predictions are pretty solid. I really do think they are. So if you guys have any predictions, comment them down below. And make sure to drop a like in this video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. If you guys are lowest supporters, best way to show support, show support. Hit the like button, boys. Now, first things first. The players, I think, will be getting it. First thing. So, I was doing some thinking, right? Let's follow the same positional standards as last year. Per se. So, a guy that I think strongly could get it is a guy that recently got killed on the market because of Patrick Willis. I think Bobby Wagner, right? So, I was thinking, right? Last year, who got it? Gronkowski, Antonio Brown, Casey Hayward, and it was, now I'm blanking, Gronkowski, Casey Hayward, Antonio Brown, and Keekly. Those guys were consensus top in Madden-wise, like 99 overall cards. Like, they were close. They were really high overalls. Three of them were. I don't know about Casey Hayward. So potentially it should be guys that are higher overall base elites. So that, that's the first standard I'm thinking, right? So it's gotta be like 88 to 89 cards. So first thing is Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner always gets upgrades every year. He's a fan favorite, a Madden favorite. Like you know the cards that Madden gives a ton of upgrades to, and one of them is Wagner. Wagner has not gotten one yet, and plenty of other base elites have. So I think Wagner, if the positions stay the same, Bobby Wagner could be in line for a nice upgrade for this kickoff promo. Now, what would I imagine his stats would look like, right? I imagine they'd probably be like a kickoff Wagner, 83 speed above 90 tackling above 90 play rec above 90 hit power so he'd be one of the best linebackers in the game and i believe his block shedding zone so i think his zone might actually hit 80 this will be a beastly card it really will be now next on this list is a guy that i love and i think he could really get the i think he can get it now are there better cornerbacks than him maybe but he's a basically he hasn't gotten an upgrade yet i think it could be jalen ramsey Another guy that they haven't really talked about much. Jalen Ramsey's next card is going to be overpowered. He will probably have an 85 speed. Probably have an 86 play rec. His man will break the threshold above 90. His zone will break the threshold because even if it's like an 88, you can just put lockdown on him. And his press. So he'll have a 90 above press, 90 above zone, 90 above man, and a good speed now. And he's tall and physical. Probably the best cornerback in the game. So that's my second prediction. So that's a cornerback and a linebacker. Now for the wide receiver. I think this is a pretty solid bet. Like, I'd put money down on this one. Julio Jones, 72K right now. 83 speed. I think if he got an upgrade to a 91 overall at Safer Kickoff Promo, he'd probably have an 86 speed, 87 speed. Probably have an 85 deep route running. Probably have an 86 medium route. Probably have an 88 short route running. And his catcher would all be high tier 80s. He'll break no thresholds, which kind of sucks. But he's going to be a really good receiver. And he's 6 for 3. Now, that's the wide receiver, the middle linebacker. That is the cornerback. And now for the tight end. As much as I'd love it to be Kittle, it will not be Kittle. It will be Travis Kelsey, because Kittle already has a steam builder. Kelsey's another guy. One of the best tight ends in the game. 
It's one of the best, probably the best tight end in real life. His next card will be pretty good catching wise. It's going to be like a faster um, Zach Ertz. He will probably have an 80 speed, is 74 strength. I'd imagine his catch will be like 87. His catch traffic 87, spec catch 87. Short route running will probably be like an 82. Medium route running will break like an 81. And I'll give him run blocking like 68. So his card will be better. Not better than George Kittle, but it'll be up there. So there we got, we got Kelsey, we got Julio Jones, Bobby Wagner, Jalen Rams. Those would be my four guys that I'd predict. Now, how to make coins off these. Personal recommendation in general, just as a general knowledgeable Madden player, I'd recommend picking up some Julio Jones. 72K. Do I have to say much more? 72K for Julio Jones. Do we know that this card is going to be, he's going to be probably the best wide receiver in the National Football League this year, if not close to it. He's probably going to get tons of upgrades. We know when Julio gets an upgrade, his card's going to skyrocket up in price. For 72K for Julio Jones, it's kind of a steal in my opinion. I'm not picking it up only because I'm saving coins for some stuff. But damn, Julio Jones, like, I'm not saying go out and buy him. I could be entirely wrong. But just in general, Julio Jones for 72K is a good investment, in my personal opinion. Like, you can't beat that. You know Julio, when he gets cards, and probably close to 100K. And you could even upgrade him if you want. If you want Julio, now's the time to get him. Well, am I saying invest him because he's going to get one? No. Do I know he's going to get one? Probably not. Like, I, I don't. I couldn't honestly tell you he's going to get one. Those are my best bets. Now, now for Jalen Ramsey, he's pretty cheap too at 150. He's a great cornerback to have in general. Pretty cheap for 150. If he gets a new card, it'll probably be above 200K. Now, I'm not saying get him again, but he they, they're going to get cards. So it's not like if I say get them, you're going to be like, oh, he didn't get a kickoff card. You screwed me. No, he's going he's gonna to go up because he's going to get more cards. Now, Wagner, again, another cheap guy that you could easily afford. Now, Kelsey, I do not recommend getting only because Kelsey is, of course, 95K right now, just about. So, can't really recommend him. Still kind of overpriced to begin with. Now, Wagner at 150, again, not a bad buy. We all know year-round, Wagner's going to be one of the highest base leads. And he's going to be one of the best linebackers in the game. Right now, he's not because his first card's slow, but they won't all be like that. So, those are the, that's the best way to make coins off them. Now, now we go to the power-ups. Because remember, their power-ups are important too. Because not just so, their core elite won't go up as much. Their power-ups will skyrocket upon initial release. So go to the Jacksonville Jaguars real quick. Go to cornerback. Let's go check out, oh, is Bouye still there? Because he's going to come up. It's kind of annoying. But let's go check it out. AJ Bouye. Yeah, so let's go to Ramsey. Ramsey's 33K. So he's kind of expensive right now. I'd recommend waiting on him. But if you could find him for like a, under 30K, not a bad buy. He's going to be one of the most expensive power-ups all year round. You can't miss on a Ramsey power-up. Hold on to him. Good investment. When his thing comes out, he might go for like 60, 70K. Easily. Hands down. I could see it coming. Next. Let's check out Wagner's power-up. That's probably expensive too. I don't know how expensive because he is kind of bad at this point in time when it comes to stats for Madden, but you never know. Wagner not. Oh, I'm picking up some Wagners. I'm picking up some Wagners. Hold up. I'm picking up some Wagner. I'm going to pick up the rest in a little bit. That's a good price for Bobby Wagner. Hold up. Buy some more of these. Guys, Bobby Wagner for 10K. You know he's getting another card. You know Bobby Wagner's going to be very useful all year. I'm picking myself up some Wagners. Hold up. There we go. About three of them. That's a good price for Wagner. Guys, I reckon. It's like what I'm saying. Like now, if Wagner gets a new card, let's see. His power probably goes up to like 30K. Minimum 30K if he gets a new card. It's a good card. So you make what, like 17K per after reduction? You buy 10 of these, you make 17K per, you make 170K. It's awesome. Awesome investment right there. Next, uh, let's go to Kelsey. Kelsey's an awesome one too. His base elite's horrible. Don't buy that. But his power up, last I checked, was like 2K. 5K now. You buy a few of these for 3 to 6K, like five of them. He goes up to like 20K. You're making 15K per, you're making over 100K simple just simple math Sim simple stuff maybe a little more than five but you get the point now wide receiver julio jones i imagine he's going for quite a quite a bit tire kill is a little down right now but tire kill is not as overpowered as he was in years past so probably why it's not as expensive julio for 13k you find this car for 10k to 15k anywhere between that even less even less than 10k i'd buy that julio jones is going to be a great great guy to sell when his power comes out when his new car comes out and I imagine it'll skyrocket up to at least 30k minimum. They could even go for more. If they have an overpowered card. You see guys like Aaron Donald and Mac, they're going for like 100k. You could easily sell one of these guys for like 60k. And I'm giving you guys the lowest. Like the lowest of the lowest would be 30k. Now remember, once to sell these cards, don't wait. When they announce these coming out, go check the auction block. When he officially comes out, check the auction block. Always be on top of it. Don't wait. Sell them as soon as you can when you see their price skyrocket. That will be the highest they will be for the duration of the promo. 
So I think my I think my pick's pretty solid. Best way to make coins: invest in their elites and power ups. And anyone you think, whoever you think will get it, invest in their elites and power ups. You can't go. You can't go wrong. What's worst case scenario? You sell them back, and nothing happens. So they don't really lose so much value. But don't obviously overpay for them. I cool it for 72k. Good price. Really good price. Bobby Wagner for 10k. Add power up. Good price. Bobby Wagner for 140, 150. Good price. Jalen Ramsey for 140. Good price. Travis Kelsey for almost 100k. Bad price. So. Hope this helps you guys. Hope you make some coins off this. Comment down below what you guys have. What are your predictions? I think mine are pretty solid. But comment down below your predictions. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. So, comment down below four positions. Four positions you think and who you think will get them. And if you don't have four guys in mind, just put your main one you think will get one no matter what. And if you guys haven't already, like the video. Hope this helps you guys. And if it does help you guys, come back later and like it too. Let's get 250 likes on this video. Don't forget to comment. Make sure to drop a sub, boys. If, this, if, this, if you guys enjoyed this video and you made it this far, Make sure to drop a sub and turn the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. That's it, boys. See you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next one. Peace.